Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. Today, AMD's next-gen Threadripper release, Nvidia's new answer to GPU shortages, 300 mining GPUs were seized, Intel is in serious trouble, and AMD is about to change everything. Okay, it's news time, and first up for today, AMD's Threadripper lineup of HEDT CPUs haven't been updated since 2019. AMD did launch a pro series of their third gen Threadripper back in July of last year, and those became available to the DIY market just recently. But AMD is yet to announce a true successor to their third gen lineup. Well, the known leaker on Twitter, Kitty Corgi, recently claimed that AMD plans to release a new generation of Threadripper CPUs in August. Now, with that said, board partners that video card spoke with last claimed that Threadripper engineering samples they received weren't getting the same uplift that their AM4 base parts got, so they're waiting for an update from AMD. Luckily, there's some very real credence to the first story, as a new beta update for HW Info claims to offer improved detection on Threadripper Pro and quote, next-gen Threadripper. Basically, AMD's upcoming monster CPUs are likely on their way, and while August may seem pretty far off, hopefully it'll give AMD time to produce enough to meet demand. Fingers crossed. But first, what do you think is the best way to learn something? Memorizing formulas, lectures, reading a textbook? No! The answer is to just do it, and today's sponsor is built from that principle. Brilliant! the website and app that teaches you the STEM field by solving problems. There's no need to memorize a ton of facts or long formulas. Just pick a course and get started. And if you get stuck, you can find out why it's not working. Plus, they have something for everyone, including some of the most cutting-edge topics like quantum computing and even cryptocurrency. Plus, they're constantly adding more courses. So don't wait. Learn the deeper side of tech by visiting brilliant.org slash gamermelt. And the first 200 people who visit the link get 20% off the annual premium today. Next up, it looks like the GPU shortage really isn't going away anytime soon, as a recent report from the Chinese site Sohu claims that NVIDIA is providing their partners with more Turing GPUs to make GTX 1650s. Yep, at the same time NVIDIA is pushing the narrative that ray tracing is the future, they're upping production of last gen's low-end non-ray tracing GPUs. So maybe the rumored RTX 3050 Ti won't be coming anytime soon. Of course, it does specify mainland China, but it's still indicative of the issue. Please, when will this end? Probably not for a while, as today's next story shows Hong Kong Customs seizing 300 of NVIDIA's newest mining GPUs. The story originally comes from My Drivers, where an image of the GPUs confiscated was shared. Apparently, certain regions in China have banned mining farms due to spikes in electricity demands. Well, clearly miners haven't given up on it just yet. The GPUs are from NVIDIA's newest CMP series made specifically for mining, with these being the entry-level 30HX. Of course, NVIDIA has promised that the Turing GPUs used in their CMP series aren't up to snuff for gaming, but time will tell if that ends up being true. Either way, they are last-gen's Turing, which you would think isn't a big deal for gamers, but NVIDIA is apparently planning to sell last-gen 1650s, so who knows. Next up for today, it looks like Intel's newest CPUs aren't selling very well at all. For those who don't know, the company's 11th gen desktop CPUs were just released last week, yet retailers have already begun discounting chips, specifically their new i7-11700K. As you can see, Newegg, Amazon, and b &H have all begun discounting the CPU just a few days after its official release. Now, one German retailer was selling the model early, but that shouldn't have affected things this much. And yes, Ryzen 5000 CPUs are getting easier to find, but still. Really, I think it shows just how far Intel has fallen since AMD began their comeback with Ryzen. I mean, the pricing of their newest generation is certainly absurd, but when has that stopped Intel in the past? And sure, their i9 is sold out, but this is still a big deal. Hopefully this will be the kick in the pants Intel needs to make a comeback with Alder Lake, because clearly they can't run off of their previous success forever. But hey, let's not forget what the Dark Knight taught us years ago. The night is darkest just before the dawn. 
And lastly for today, it looks like AMD's recently announced Infinity Cache is set to do far more than double the memory bandwidth of their new RX 6000 GPUs. In fact, it could be the answer to revolutionizing the GPU market. For those who don't know, the idea of a multi-chip module based GPU has been something of a dream that gamers have been hoping for for years. Nvidia themselves claim it's the future of GPUs, and it's no wonder why. AMD has all but turned the CPU industry on its head with their Zen-based MCM approach to CPUs. Now, GPU-based MCMs were originally rumored to come with AMD's first-gen Navi, but that obviously didn't happen. Either way, the goal is essentially to combine multiple small GPUs into a single graphics unit that doesn't require any real coding from a developer's side. We know how that ultimately turns out. Luckily, it's not that hard for compute-based tasks, and we know Intel has already shown off such a GPU. But AMD made it clear that it's tough to do for gaming. Well, in a recent patent from AMD, we can see that the company shows a system that combines multiple GPU chiplets using an active L3 cache that acts like a monolithic cache, so there wouldn't be a need to make chiplet-based calls to the cache from a developer's perspective. This is really similar to AMD's newest Infinity Cache and looks to be one of the biggest potential jumps to realizing the future of an MCM GPU. Now, with that said, this overall design looks to be more of an APU design rather than just a discrete GPU, but we can almost certainly expect this to make its way into future GPUs as well. And with Nvidia's hopper rumors, it couldn't come at a better time. Basically, RDNA 3 or 4 is something that we should definitely be excited for. Time, as always, will tell. So while that does it for today, are you excited for AMD's next-gen GPUs or are you still just trying to get an RX 6000 GPU? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please subscribe. And as always, have a great day!